country, this great country of ours, the United States of America, today we commemorate and salute our veterans, our troops who support and fight for freedom. Freedom. Today, as a salute to our veterans and actually more than our veterans, which I'll be getting into in just a minute. I will be donating and giving something that I've been working on for about four and a half years to do for this day. And it's, it's not necessarily just for the veterans, it's for all the fallen soldiers and warriors of the past. And mostly it's for the children. But as, when you join the military, one of the things they first do, to, to my knowledge, I've not been in the military, but they'll shave somebody's head. They'll buzz their head as a, I guess a token to say, you're ours. You know, you're, you're part of us now. And back in the Bible days, slave owners would s shave their slaves' heads in case, and not just Bible days, also in the recent slavery times, but going back to the beginning of it, they would slave, shave their slaves' heads in case if, if the slave started to run away and somebody seen them, that would be their mark to say that, hey, that's not a free man that's running right there, that's a slave. So they could turn them in and get them back to where they, I guess, needed to be. I'll never agree with slavery. But... Today I'm gonna I'm making this video so I can stick to my word. Cause I don't want to back out. There's no backing out now or looking back. Even though I'm telling you, my flesh is worn against me and wanting to back out from what my spirit and soul is just jumping with joy for me to do. But I'm planning on <clears throat> getting, you know, all 25 inches of my hair gone, trimmed off donated for you know the wigs for kids or locks of love that they do for kids with cancer who don't have a choice of whether they want hair or not you know they they automatically lose their hair when they get the disease and start getting all the radiation and chemo their hair falls out them them, them children do not have a choice whether they want to grow hair or not and that's what come over me i remember it was 2007 bonnaroo music festival right around where I live and I just remember something come over me one night just really 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 <clears throat> strong it was it just it took me over as a crazy experience but it, it just it felt like God was saying you're not cutting your hair for a good while and you're gonna do something with it and you're gonna you know give it and you're gonna make not one child happy, but two. And that's the goal today. That's that's what I'm going for. I am nervous, <clears throat> but at the same time, I'm a cheerful giver. I, I know that I'm doing the right thing, but like I said, the flesh is weak, which that's all of us, the flesh is weak. It, 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 it don't want you to do what's right. It's always worn against you, you know. What's other people gonna think, you know, and. People's already giving me a hard time anyways, even though they support the cause, it's just, you know. And I'm not going around, you know, bragging or anything, saying I'm donating my hair, or I've been growing it for four and a half years to do it. It's just, it's not going to be something that's going to be too hotable, you know. I'm, I'm going to sort of have to explain it, and I do know where the scripture says, you know, you're to give with your right hand and not even know what your left hand's doing, so you're not really supposed to be a... You're not supposed to boast in your giving and, you know, say, hey, look at me, look what I'm doing, but I'm not doing that. I'm just, I'm trying to, you know, once again, give a more example of, of giving and just thinking, 
You know, I hope very soon that there's two children who will have what's on my head right now and it'll just, it'll fill them with smiles and they, they won't feel so out of place, you know, and they're the only ones who don't have hair or whatever it is. But, you know, legally, legally, what I feel legally, this is the only thing that I can really do to help that smile on a kid come out, you know, and it's just provide by providing hair. I mean, legally, I feel that's about the only thing I can do, you know. But hopefully that's going to change soon because I feel we could really, really help the children, like, very quickly. I mean, but it's Veterans Day today, you know. It's, it's a day that <clears throat> the warriors step up. Plus, it's 11, 11, 11. There's a lot of different theories on that, and I don't, I don't necessarily agree with all the theories, and I don't disagree with them. I mean, I've, I've felt that something on this for a long time. I mean, it's, it's been something that's been brewing inside of me, and it's, it's the spirit just saying, "Hey, this is, this is what you're doing," and you know, let's see if you're gonna be bold and do it. If I think about our troops, you know, they're over there fighting. They're fighting all over the world. And it's put in very, very stressful situations and a lot of them come back from war, you know, and they have alcohol problems and they have the post-traumatic stress disorder problems and then they're put on tons of, you know, Xanaxes or antidepressants and common medicines or whatever and then, you know, a lot, a lot of, that's just, that's a sad situation right there. It, it really is, because I, I know quite a lot of people who have been over to Afghanistan, Iraq, you know, Babylon, whatever, and, you know, they just, you can tell they, they just, you can tell they got them vivid memories flashing off and stuff, and that they're never exactly the same again, and I don't think they're getting proper medicine. I don't think our veterans who are fighting for this country are even allowed to get medicine that can ease their post-traumatic stress, you know, where there is medicine that can do that. And that ain't right, you know. They're, they're fighting and then they can't even have what's good and what could help them get healed and get over the situations, crazy situations they're put in and see and all the blood, all the lives lost, all the... I mean, my goodness, that, that takes a toll on a person, and I, I, I'm supporting I'm supporting them. I don't I don't support our cause for war and killing and all that, but I support I support the heart, you know, of men who go out and want to do right, even when the situations are so grim and so dark that you know they just they keep pressing on, and and that's that's what makes a true warrior. That's what makes a saint, that's what makes, you know, love just pour out, it's, it's, it's what we're doing, and I just, I wanted to make a video to inspire, show the last video of my hair, I guess, and go do this thing, you know, I am a little nervous, but I ain't had a haircut in four and a half years, and, you know, I guess we'll start back today, and we'll start fresh today, and, it's 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 time. It's time to go to war. It's time to show these people, you know, we we don't have any fear and we're going to show you God's way whether you like it or not. You can choose it or refuse it, but it's it's going to be there. And it's it's time. This is it. I'm thankful for everybody watching. Leave comments. Um, I'll make another video here in a little, while, a little while. I'm headed to the barber shop right now, and we're going to get some business done. So, thank you. Peace.